Well, hello, this is the final boss, and this is Starcraft. Came loud very quickly. Oh, that's, oh, that's Dark Gravity. Whew. All right, this game really wanted me, forced me to input a controller. So I'm using a controller, much to my chagrin. I'll turn up the game music a little bit. Oh, whatever. Hello, we were waiting for you, AZ Mazur. Your name is... Ah, yes, I got it. Sorry, but frontline pilots can't use their real name. From today on, your code name is Jackal. All right. Firstly, you should go to the office where you can undergo your initial training. The font is really weird and surprisingly, like, maybe I'm a little dyslexic, but it is a little difficult for me to parse. Uh, after you'll finish it, you may go to the briefing room where you'll be introduced. So again, some weird verbal duplicates, right? Like, you don't want you'll that close to another you'll in general just narrative and writing uh not the end of the world but it's something to be aware of uh you know just as a writer and someone who has to watch out for these things uh to the objective of your first mission all right tell me my objective let's go to the office basic mechanics Bre this bureau area contains a lot of information about gameplay okay so this is like S. Jefferson. Hello. We ain't got much time, so hop on to the simulator. Again, um, I like that they're using some idiomatic phrases, but it doesn't feel like they're getting used correctly. So, like, you know, ain't is a kind of an odd phrasing to put there. Oh, okay. Press control or view button. I don't know what that is. Okay, that's this one. That's your plane. Steer it by using thing or something. Okay, so it may be put in a gamepad, but I guess it can work on a keyboard as well. So, fly into every highlighted area to pass training. Okay. Why am I just shooting randomly? Can I stop shooting, please? I'm okay with not shooting right now. Great. Now try your base. How your base. Now try how your basic weapon works. So there definitely seems to be some localization stuff. And to the developers, if you watch this, feel free to tap on my shoulder. I've reviewed a lot of games with localization issues uh, as an editor, so I'm happy to help out. Is he on the keyboard or RT on the gamepad to pull the basic weapon trigger by pressing Shift on the keyboard or RG? Okay, RB. Oh, I see. All right, I like that. All right, good. Now let's see how you'll manage to evade enemy attacks. Press space bar or A on the gamepad to activate the aileron roll maneuver known as dodge. Knowing this, you'll be able to avoid, okay, 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 okay. Each maneuver causes that affects your body. Blue bar on your left, how much of them you can withstand. Oh, wow. So I have... Okay. That's interesting that I have kind of like some... Okay. I respect that. Pretty good reflex. Alright. Alright. I respect this. I respect this. This is feeling good. I kind of want to use Wasta, though. Well done. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right, this is feeling good on the controller so far. Additional weapons. Get ready for another practical training. Jump in. All right, jump in the sim. Let's go. I want to start fighting some enemies. I kind of wish it would train me while I was fighting, you know, playing some levels. I feel like the games that do tutorials best sometimes blend the initial gameplay with the tutorial. To the point where I don't really feel like I'm playing a tutorial. I'm just playing the game. You might use them during the mission by collecting different power-ups. Normal advantage. Fire along with your base weapon. Let's try. Okay. Normal power-up and destroy the target. So these fire up my... Oh, phew. 25? Man, that's a lot of targets. I 
feel like 25 is too many. I, I should have been able to complete that a lot faster, given the fact that I did the same thing 25 times. Good, now collect the advantage power up and destroy some more of them. Okay. I got missiles now. That's cool. I mean, these types of games are always fun, so... Why 50? Why do I have to destroy 50? That's so many. I mean, I know it won't take that long, but I'd rather just get to the next phase. I mean, I feel like I'm curious to see how this game is going to challenge me much more than... You know, the, the core mechanics have been explained. It's you, it's movement and auto attack, and maybe a bomb is going to come up next. Special weapon, yeah. However, it will stock automatically ready whenever you won't use it. Okay. Collect, so again, some language and spelling issues. Collect the power up and destroy all the targets. Press X or LT. Okay. All right. Pretty neato. Great, training's completed. All right. I mean, I feel like this could have all been explained to me very quickly and with a little bit more efficiency. I kind of want to just start playing, right? Lobby. Story prologue. Fifth World War. All right. Okay, I guess I got to play through the office. Base sectors. All right. Uh, factions. Okay. So I guess I gotta. No. I guess I gotta keep going to the office then. Wow, there's a lot of tutorials for what feels like a pretty straightforward game. You can use dodge to evade weak attacks, regular bullets. When you get hit, you'll lose one additional weapon, starting from the most powerful and you currently possess. I mean, I feel like this is just Tyrian Arcade, where, like, some of your weapons bounce off your power-ups. Uh, I mean, I would consider just doing, like, a two... Like, a one-minute video telling me all this. And I think I'll be good. You'll get a warning by a buzzer before each powerful attack. Missiles are the fourth type of enemy attack. You can't dodge them, and any kind of contact with them will cost your life, but you can shoot them down. Okay, yeah. Okay, good to know. Enemies shot down during the mission might leave behind various kinds and parts of materials. We gather them. Okay, we take those. All right. HUD controls. Cool. Can I play? Oh, we can play now, thankfully. Hangar. Can I upgrade my ship? I don't really know what the difference is, so I'm not going to mess with it. We'll go to the briefing room. Start a new campaign. Now we'll do normal. We'll do this number one here. Start mission. I don't need a briefing. I'm ready to go. All right. That wasn't too bad. I'm glad the tutorial kind of like dialed back a little bit. When... Okay. Hope you're sitting comfortably. You've got some enemy units ahead of you. Take care of them. All right. Defeat enemy. So again, I do feel like the localization would go a long way in terms of helping you... Who are these guys below me? Are those friends? Okay, there they are. Oh! Oh! I just died! I got one shot? Alright. I respect you. Oh! Oh my gosh. How many lives do I even have? Okay, yeah. This is a real bullet storm. Okay. Okay, I respect you. I respect you. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, but this is like a one-hit, one-death bullet storm. I got you. That's a little uh, worrisome for someone who's not that good with reflexes, but I'm ready, baby. Ooh. Is that red thing a good? I'm not really sure if I want that or not, but... Oh, back to the beginning. Oh, my God. 
So my weapons are kind of my life. Okay. So I really need some more of these. Oh, dodge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Power up, please. Gimme, 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 gimme. Power ups. I need them. I need them badly. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I kind of prefer WASD on games like this, though. So I kind of wish Steam... So, like, I think there's some setting they've turned on in their Steam page that makes me use... Uh, makes me... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Alright. Alright, come on now. Come on now, stinkers. Oh, what? Like, I know that there's some elevation stuff going on where certain enemies at certain elevations I cannot hit, but it's not really super clear which one is which all the time. So it's like not always like super clear that, hey, this enemy's in range, this one is not, or like they're in in my level or not. Um, yo, dog, there's somebody here right in front of me. <laughs> I know you want to talk on the phone right now, but we don't got time. There's a big death plane right in front of me. Okay. Do I have a power up yet? So that's his dodge, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so I do have... Ah, oh, shoot. That's pretty good. I like that this game's controls are extremely responsive. I feel like it it like when I press dodge, I am dodging. I don't wait for it to, an animation to start. It legitimately is is a great reflex control. Oh, shnikes. Oh no. That was uh that was a heartbreaker. Let's do that again. That was a heartbreaker. I'm ready now. I'm I'm ready now. I'm ready now. Oh man, what a what a heartbreaker. Okay, we know we're fighting. Destroy the enemies. I'm glad you're here to remind me. Oh. Ah. Uh... Did not need to insta die right there, but it is okay. I grow powerful. I am mighty. I am mighty. Who's calling? Stay alert. All right. You don't got to interrupt me <laughs> to tell me. Yo, there's some uh, bad guys around. <laughs> Just so you know. Well, I'm glad you're here to tell me these things. Do these over do these change my stuff up? Yeah. Still don't have a, a blaster one here. Come on, dude. Who are you? Is that my superpower one? All right, that's my superpower here. I'm a firepower god! Bow before me! Woo! Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a lot of little yellow dots around here that are coming for me. A lot of yellow dots. A lot of yellow, naughty yellow dots. Whoa. I don't like them. 
they are trying to cause me harm, and I do not want harm to be caused to me. That is a... Uh... Wah! Alright, incoming call. What's up, Steve? Watch out! Okay! I'm glad you're here to tell me these things! Alright, light them up, boys. Light them up. Light them up. Light them up, boys. So I feel like I'm switching stuff out. I'm not really... Oh my gosh. Light him up. This guy is like dodging my stuff. I don't like it. Light him up. Light this mother lover up. Ooh. Let's go. Incoming call. Great job, Jackal. Return to wait. Something is coming. What? There's more? Come on, man. What did I do? As this fly shot down our toy. Looks like it apparently is not an ordinary fly. I wonder how the smoke from its wings tastes like. Again, cool vibes from these characters, but... There is some localization stuff that's that's uh, pretty having some issues. Don't interfere, lass. I'll take care of him myself. Hey, you. I don't know what you're looking for, but that's a warning. You'll regret it. Okay. Bye. Look at my ship. It shoots a million guns at once. What do I need to be afraid of? Okay, new plate and unlocked. All right. So let's take a look at some of the unlocks, and then we might try one more mission. I don't know. It looks like situation was much more complicated than we thought. There has to be some serious player behind all this. It's just the beginning. Rest for a bit, soldier. All right. So. Let's see. Hangar. Change camera. Oh, yeah. So that is slower, more firepower, more dodge. I feel like I don't know if I love that. Seems fine. We'll try it. I mean, just to, like, see something new. Workshop. Fighters. Paints. Sure. Passive skills. Standard. Map marks normal enemies when they can be destroyed by the player. All right. I don't know. Drones. All right. Century drones. So we're getting some power-ups. Let's go to the briefing room. Continue campaign. We'll do 2A. Sure. Let's just jump in here. Let's jump in. Oh, I got a cooler plane. I got a cooler plane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Die. Experience oblivion, friend. Oh, 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 oh. oh I perished. Oh, I perished. Oh, oblivion. It welcomes me home, the darkness. Darkness takes me home. Ooh, let's go. Oh. I mean, these letters... Oh. What? What What killed me? Oh, I just didn't see it. What do you want? Oh, they're calling me! They're like... These incoming calls are not my favorite. Especially when they, like, give me no valuable information. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. All right, do I at least have a... Are these mines? No. These seem problematic somehow.
Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This it got way harder. Oh, this got way freaking harder. <laughs> wow. Uh, that was a lot. I'm going to try to unplug this and I'm going to try to use mouse and keyboard. Oh, this is going to let me. All right. Let me see the uh, game settings, controls, key controls, ASDF. Okay. Active skill is so shift is toggle fire. C is what answer. C is special. Active prototype, rotate fighter. All right, good enough. Yo, what's your freaking problem, guy? Ooh. Oh my gosh. I don't like this. I don't like it. Uh, I'm going to take this, whatever the heck that is. These seem problematic. These seem problematic somehow. Oh, hi. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh, what am I supposed to do? There is so much stuff. I don't get it. What am I supposed to do besides just like very carefully drive between the lasers? I mean, this seems a little bit All right. <laughs> I will return to base. But yeah, overall, um, I think the control scheme is not terrible. Um, I don't ever see really a use of using the weapon. Like, there's no reason not to just leave your weapon on auto attack, like the RB button. So I don't really get why the... Like, you know, Z on the keyboard or right trigger on the controller is taken up by such a... Is taken up by something so critical, right? Like, I feel like you just need RB and trigger or, like, shift and Z to say, either turn on your auto attack or use your special. You don't need all this other crap uh, because the controls have do get a little bit confusing. Obviously, the difficulty scaling is a little wild. I mean, I know that these aren't... You know, uh, bullet storms are, you know, for people who play them, this is might be balanced. It's not balanced for me. Um, and especially because I was playing on normal. So that's a little odd that like, hey, you know, I'm not, you know, pulling in like a very difficult setting. The only other thing is in the meta progression, um, you know, outside of some of the narrative having some challenges, uh, the meta progression was interesting, but I think it was a little bit difficult to understand what benefits I was getting by collecting these things. I wish the initial upgrades I got were really, really visible and tactile and changed my gameplay to the point where I'm like, wow, I am stronger now that I have this. Or if I don't have it, oh man, I'm so much weaker without this. Those are the kind of the, the gut check symbol signals I want to get early on as a player. But overall, Dark Gravity, cool game. If you are good at these Bulletstorm type games, I think this would be up your alley. Um, I liked some of the ideas around using your power-ups as your health. Um, it had a very arcade-like vibe. But yeah, the only other thing I would say is, you know, I tried to figure out what new 
aspects this is bringing to the bullet storm genre what is the new angle is it the story is it you know a mix of elements is it the like the depth of upgrades what would make someone who you know plays bullet storms potentially has you know 20 different bullet storm games on their computer what makes this different from all of those or what makes this one like oh i should play dark gravity versus any of those other ones that would be just the one thing i would really think about as a game designer but other than that great job keep up the good work excited to see how this continues to evolve take care bye bye